Hello and welcome to Lecture 9, of this Basic Barista course. Today we will discuss the fascinating topic of latte art. So let's get started. Latte art is a method of preparing a latte, in which the steamed milk forms a design on the latte's surface. A prepared latte art results in a pattern or design, on the latte's surface. In some cases, the latte art can be created by simply drawing, on the top layer of foam. It's a complex skill to master, due to the demanding conditions of both espresso and milk. Some points to remember. Latte art is limited by the experience, of the barista and the quality of the espresso machine. Cappuccino is a drink, of any size with a shallow cap, of soft foam on top. A drink with a hard foam cap is called ruined. What do you need to make latte art? Espresso machine with steaming wand. To get the perfect amount of steamed milk microfoam, you'll need a mid to high quality espresso machine. Metal pitcher with temperature sticker. Use a metal pitcher and chill it beforehand, which helps because the colder the milk, the longer time you have to steam it. 6 ounce mug. It's easiest to make latte art when you have a mug that's the final size of the drink. This allows you to add just the right amount. Importance of microfoam. Great latte art is made with microfoam, which is difficult to achieve. You're looking for an almost wet paint like texture. Also called velvet milk, it's shiny and has very tiny, uniform bubbles. It's silky smooth and has a sweet, almost nutty flavor that makes just the right espresso drink. It's impossible to make latte art if you can't get the right texture and amount of bubbles. It can take months to perfect your touch with your espresso machine and equipment. Let's discuss about what can be the best milk to steam. To create perfect latte art, you must start with the right raw material. Whole milk produces the most beautiful latte art. You can try oat milk to avoid dairy, but it's not the same. Make use of whole milk. Because it contains the most milk fat, whole milk produces the best microfoam. Important, make sure the milk is as fresh as possible. Milk that is nearing its expiration date does not foam as well. Some points to remember. Oat milk is a dairy-free alternative. Although oat milk froths better than any other non-dairy milk, it does not produce the same quality latte art as full-fat whole milk. Allow the milk to reach 37 degrees Celsius before inserting the steam wand. The milk should be spun slightly counterclockwise. Maintain the motion until the milk reaches a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius to 68 degrees Celsius. Creating the foam. Refrigerate milk for around 30 minutes, before pouring into the steam pitcher, use a liquid thermometer, or to ensure, the milk is at the proper temperature. Place the steam wand in the pitcher's bottom. Turn on the steam and raise the wand slowly, towards the tip of the milk. Pouring the latte foam. Turn the cup's handle to the left, and if the saucer has lettering, turn it away. The setup should be oriented towards, the person being served. Let the frothed milk sit, for 10 to 20 seconds. Tilt the cup towards yourself until it is nearly empty. The greater the tilt, the faster the milk will mark the surface. Pour the milk slowly, from the bottom end until, a cloud of white steam appears. Pour the milk into the center, and oscillate it side to side, to make a heart print on the foam. Pouring a rosette print. Pour milk to the far end of the cup, then zigzag it back. Pour with a light stroke away from the far end of the cup. As you pour the milk, make sure the cup has a smooth top so that nothing spills. It requires consistent practice, and can take several months to perfect. Stay tuned, I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any queries, do some googling or contact me on my email id.